Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to convert any user app to a system app on your Android phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. For the sake of reference, I'll be using the solid file manager app. So please install that app from the Play Store. As you could see, this is the app. So I'll be converting this app into a system app. So let me first install this app. I might already be having the APK of this app. So this is the app and I will convert that app to the system app. As you could see currently, it's now a user app and I could easily install and uninstall the app as and when required from here. Let me show you that as well. Just a minute. So as of now, as you could see, this is the app, Solid File Manager app. And you could see the uninstall option as well. And if I go to the app info page, you could see the uninstall option here as well. So as of now, it's a user installed app and we will then convert it to a system app after which the uninstall option will be removed and the app will be moved to the system app partition and then we'll only have the option to disable the app and there will be no option to uninstall the app. So with that in mind, let's get started. You could take any app. I am just taking this app for a reference point of view. So first and foremost, you will have to root your phone via magisk. I have made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide and make sure that your phone is rooted via Magisk. Once you have obtained root, your next course of action is to download the app systemizer module from GitHub. So go to this link, go to the release section and simply download the systemizer.zip module from here. Once you have got the zip module, you will have to now flash the module via the Magisk. So let's now launch the Magisk app. Then go to module section tap on install from storage and select that module then tap ok and it will now be flashed once the module has been flashed just tap on reboot and your phone will now reboot to the os with the module being active as you might have seen that the last upload date of this module is quite older but still it works from android 11 till android 14 i have tested on android 14 as well on the google pixel 6a so it works for every android version even though the upload date is somewhat older. That is not a cause of concern. Anyways, with that said, we have now flashed the module. So let's just verify the same ones. So launch the magic, go to modules. And as you could see, the module is up and running. However, the app does not have any UI of its own. So you will need to have a terminal app on your Android phone. For that, there are quite a, a lot of apps. Among them, one is the Termux app. You could install that app from Play Store as well. So let me show you the Termux app. So this is the Termux app installed it from Play Store. And once you have got the Termux app, let me install it as well. So just a minute. So this is the Termux app installed it onto your phone. And once we have got the Termux app, we will then use the module using this Termux app itself. So now launch the Termux app. And first and foremost, you will have to give it the magic request or the super user request. So type in SU and hit enter. You will now get a magic prompt. So tap on grant. After that, you will now have to launch the module. So type in the module name, which is systemize and hit enter. Once that is done, you will now get a list of option. So as of now, I am installing, we will have to systemize and install the app. So just type in one. If you haven't yet installed that app, then please first go ahead and install that app onto your phone. Once you have installed that app, then come back and then hit the type in one and press enter and it will now scan for all the user installed apps. So let me show you. It will now scan for the user installed apps and could take up to a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the number of apps installed. I only have a few user apps installed, so it should not take much longer. Anyways, let's just wait. And as you could see, I have a total of six user apps out of which I'll be systemizing the sixth app, which is the solid explorer. So just type in the number that correspond to the app. If you want to systemize multiple apps at once, then you just have to write that number, give a space, write the next number and so on. For example, if I want to systemize the Google app, the Magisk app and the Solid app, then I will type in one space five space six. And similarly, you can type in the numbers 
having a space in between as of now i want to systemize the solid app so just type in 6 and hit enter it will now ask you the location or directory so let's install it to the system app directory so type in 1 and hit enter and with this the process is complete just type in y to reboot to the main menu and now you will have to restart your phone do note that this restart is compulsory it's not optional it's compulsory so let's just restart our phone once and after a restart we will then verify if the process has been done or not so let's wait for a few seconds for a phone to boot up and with this the app should have been systemized or in other words converted to a system app but still let me show you first that as well do keep in mind that while you are carrying out these steps the boot up might take up a little bit longer in some cases that is completely normal anyways let's now verify the process so for verification we have to use an app that supports root so for that the solid app will work well and good so simply launch the solid app tap on the hamburger menu then select the root directory you will get a magic prompt tap on grant and with this we are now in the root directory so now we have to go to the system partition and from there go to the app partition and now you will have to check out the app package name not the app name rather the app package name regarding that there are quite a few ways of doing so i have made a separate guide on the same the most easiest way is by having a, a look at its url in the play store the context next to the id equals to is the app package name so in my case the app package name is pl.solidexplorer2 so i'll have to find this name inside the system app directory so let's search for that so as you could see pl.solidexplorer2 so as you could see this app has now been converted into a system app and now it will act as a system app and you could also no longer uninstall the app from your phone let me show you that as well if i long press on it there is no option to uninstall likewise if i go to app info you could see at the very most i could simply only disable the app but cannot uninstall the app so guys with this we have converted a user app to a system app and now let me show you the steps to reverse the process in other words how you could go back or re revert from a system app to a user app so i will again take the same app for reference which is the solid app so i'll show you how to now remove all the changes and make the solid app as a user app so for that launch the termux app from here then again type in su for super user request now type in the module name which is systemize and hit enter and now you will have to select the fourth option which is revert systemize apps and hit enter it will now bring up a list of all the systemized app that it has just systemized in my case it's only a single app if you have systemized multiple apps then write the number of multiple apps with a space for example one three five and so on just give a space next to all those apps in my case there's only one app which is the first app so in my case i am typing in the first number and so type in one and hit enter and it will now revert the change and once that is done just type in y to come back to the home menu and now you will have to do a restart again this restart is compulsory so upon upon a restart the solid file manager app will once again be a user app it will no longer be a system app and you could easily uninstall the app from your phone as well so let's verify that as well let's just wait for the phone to boot up which will take only a few seconds so let's verify the same and then we will round off this video so our phone is now booted to the os so let's verify that as well so first and foremost let me long press on the file manager app and as you could see we have now got the uninstall option likewise if i go to the app info page i could now easily uninstall the app from here moreover the app will no longer be there in the root directory as well so if i launch the app and just a minute go to the root folder from here let me show you one second if i go to the root directory then go to system and then go to app so as you could see the app name which was pl.solidexplorer2 is no longer there under the system app directory 
it's no longer there so it has been removed from there and it's now just a user installed app which you could easily remove from your phone so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching